Hello, today we're going to look into VMS, VMS software that comes with MyCard Reader. Alright, so this is the box. So once you receive the device, the MyCard Reader device with your VMS software, you open the seal, break the seal and open the box. Okay. Okay, alright. So, uh, this is your device ID. This uh, it's licensed for two computer. Okay, for your VMS, it will ask for the device ID, and this is the download link where sh where you should download the VMS software and the device. Okay, let's look at the device, and this is the MyCard reader. Uh, this is the device ID. You can see the device ID is actually same with what's published on the card. So the aid and so on. So we will be using this device ID to download the software. So now let's get started. Mm, first thing to do, download the software. So follow this uh, URL. Open your browser, any browser such as Chrome or Firefox that you like in your PC and go to this particular URL. So I'm going to punch in this URL now. VMS dot at myrfid.com slash download download okay so you can see the url vms.admirefid vms.admirefid.com slash download so that's the url slash download okay now go in enter the web page is loaded so you can see visitor management system software download Hardware ID, it's asking for the hardware ID and we can punch in the number, this is the hardware ID. It may be case sensitive, so follow exactly, it's a capital A and all the capital letters, right? So I'll follow exactly all the capital letters. A, 8A, 6E, 9H, 9H, V, 7V, 7V okay so i punch in ready download click on the download so it's validating the license the hardware id and then it will start the download it might take 10 or 15 seconds like that for it to validate the id hardware id let's just wait for it Okay, so it will start. Uh, it is. It will come at the pop up for you to download. So, I'm just going to say at number five. Okay, start the download. In some, uh, this computer is installed with the Internet Download Manager. So the software is uh, coming up as a pop up to download the software. But in your PC. When this validation is uh, complete, you will see the small uh, download bar over here. In Chrome, the download bar will start here and it will automatically start download your software. That's actually a zip file, as you can see. It's a zip file and, uh, oh yeah, the visitor system.zip. It's a zip file, so after it's download, we will open the zip file. It might take some time. The file size is approximately 70, 80 MB, something like that. So I will skip this video and once this download is complete, I will open the zip file and show it to you. Okay, the zip file has been downloaded. You can see visitor system.zip. So I'm going to uh, the browser just now, right? It, we actually don't need the browser anymore. We can actually close it. Okay, now the software click on the zip file double click on it or you can extract it up to you up to yourself on how you going to do it i'm just going to double click on it okay then close this pop up double click on it and then inside the zip file there will be uh, step one and step two the step one is actually for the driver installation so let's install the step one get start with step one i double click on it and it's going to start the driver installation 
yes okay okay the software installation started the driver installation actually starting and next and please take note that i haven't plugged in the device uh, we should not plug in the device yet we install the driver and software first then only plug in the device so let the so now the driver installation is complete okay and now we go to the step two the software installation the vms software double click on it yes okay the software click next button and make sure the create desktop icon and the create start menu folder is actually ticked okay both are ticked correct next it's installing the software now Okay, so right now it's ticked on the launch visitor system management, right? We actually uh, no need to uh, launch now because I'm going to show you from the desktop. You can see the desktop link over here. So I'm going to show from there. I'm not going to launch now. Finish it. So this zip file, we can close it. The zip downloaded folder also we can close. Now here we go. We have the software here. You can see, right? The software I'm going to put here so easy for me to see All right so now uh, it will be always in your desktop you can double click on it to open it okay all right so this is the visitor management system for your building oh yeah the building name you can change okay let's now get started with the building name go to your setting and then the application name and so on Here's the building name. So let me change to something like uh, 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 Admire Towers. Eh? Admire Towers. So you can name it whatever your building is or your garden house area, housing area and so on. Give it the name and the theme color. So do we want the webcam? And yes, we want to use the webcam. Can we allow the duplicate for the same IC number and so on? And I'm going to click yes save the changes the changes saved now go back to home so you can see it's a uh, admire towers the building name comes out there and before you can start uh, reading my card you are entering information manually you need to first activate the license go to the license key this particular screen license key and then here it will say no license key so you need to request the license key click on request button this red color is the request button request license key click on it and this particular page will ask for you uh, for your hardware id so here's where you need to punch in the hardware id as published in this card make sure you follow the capital letters I'm going to punch in 8a 6e if you punch in whatever in your card you know you don't you don't copy what i'm actually going to do gonna type in here you follow as in your card so 9h 7v okay so now click on the green button and it will say new license key generated okay that's great click on the install this software license key and it will say valid license key okay you installed the license key ready now you can go back to the home screen go back to the home screen and we can now actually plug in the my card device i'm going to plug in now okay so i put the wires at the back of it you can see the device is plugged in okay got the green light here and now we're going to straight away get started with my card i already uh, hide the information sensitive information this is a real my card you can see right real my card it's a real my card so 
slot in the mic card to your device in case you want to read using the mic card right so make sure the chip goes inside first okay and you sure the chip should be facing you not the other way around this is wrong and the chip should go inside first don't put it like this chip go inside first okay slot it nicely chip go inside okay so you can see the red color light the card is there and then click on register new visitor so you want to capture from the my card click on it register new visitor and you will have the option you want to uh, extract with their photo or without their photo with their photo will take approximately 10 seconds with their photo just their particulars the informations only will take only three seconds so we're going to do it fast we're going to use three seconds it's extracting and that's it done okay now what's happening here is it's capturing from the webcam all right so let's keep the webcam part first so these are the information so after you scan the my card you can put in the visitor id and so on which visit unit number they're going to visit what's their vehicle number any information that you require you can punch it in okay these are the my card details so you probably cannot see it it's probably blanked out for you because it's a real mic we don't want to show the real information for you and you can register here so before register i'm going to say the visitor id is a11 for example i'm going to use capital easy maybe a11 or maybe just the visitor id is 101 for example okay so the vehicle number is uh, waa1234 and something like that okay and save it so oh yeah so the webcam part back to the webcam when you see uh, you can take photos with the webcam up to four photos okay yes the webcam in this pc is at the back of it so let's say this is a my card right i take out from the my card slot i'm going to snap picture one snap you can take pictures like this and then maybe they give you the driving license to go in so this is the driving license you can see license momandu so the license momandu also let's say you want to take photo take photo with your webcam and this can be the photo number two okay so when you scroll down you can see this is the photo number one the card the photo number two you can take their face their car uh, up to four photos it's up to you okay and then you can save this information and this register button is also up here so click on register button then only it saves to the database and now once we have the information in the database you can actually filter it these are the information available you can filter search based on this information from which date to which date the uh, list of visitors came and so on okay and then you can download it as excel file i'm just going to show you one download as excel file and it's going to give you the my card excel double click on it and the entire list will come out here okay so right now there's only one so it's only showing one entry so close it close it and if you do now if you go in to this record you can actually see all the information again including the pictures that we took the photos that we snap okay now go back and to view list of visitors you can click on today's visitor to view the entire list of today's visitor or active visitors means those visitors are still in the building so this particular visitor is in the building right if you want to check him out that means this particular visitor going out of the building what you can do you can come back to this uh, list of visitors right this list of visitors and then look for the information based on searching here or based on filtering the record and then click on this out button okay or another way is you can just use this out the top there out click on that here it's uh, faster so it will ask just now we punch in the visitor id right when the visitor go in we give them an id it was 101 so when the visitor want to go out you punch in the id 101 sign out and it will show that particular user information so you can see exited the building what time he get in what time he get out so how long he spent time there and that's pretty much it so now back it will back to the screen so the security guard or 
the security officer can can just check out the next person maybe the visitor id or their uh their ic number or the vehicle number and so on they can uh, punch in and then sign them out quickly so now since there was one visitor and we already signed the visitor out when you go back to the active visitors you will not see any visitor information there because the visitor already go out but then you can see them in the all visitors list or today's visitors list okay this is today's visitor list and now in all cases in some cases uh, the user might be the visitor might be reluctant to give you the my card so you should you can go the manual way no need to always rely on this my card and my card reader you can put a new visitor record click on new visitor record there or in the home screen also there's a register new visitor manually so you take that option do it manually and then here you can punch in the visitor information maybe this visitor id is 102 and then give in mr x for example so the information you can punch in all the informations uh, which unit he going to visit and so on maybe he's going to block b fourth floor uh, fourth floor uh, uh, 11 unit unit number 11 something like that which company and so on whatever relevant for your business uh, your uh, your security purpose reason you can punch in all the informations here okay and now since they are reluctant to give the my card right so you can ask for them for the driving license and just take a photo of the driving license make it easy okay you can take photo of the driving license uh, photo of the car and so on and then you save up to four photos you can register it okay so now you can see mr x because this we are seeing the active daily visitor now the today's visitor so you can see the mr x is there so if you want to check out the mr x you can click here and if you want to download the pdf you can click here for the pdf this one to print out and to download the excel is here and that's pretty much it so let me just show you how the checkout works click here okay you see as simple as that i already check out that's it the user is out and that's pretty much it we're going to go let's see the maintenance so user comes in you register them and then user goes out you check out them you can see how long they was there you can download the entire list for the auditing purpose and so on and that's pretty much it this maintenance you can download the entire database as in csv format comma separated value format you can view all the photos in the photos that we captured just now let me just open this and show you okay you see the photos that we took just now we can actually take the photo and then uh, next uh, we can also regularly clean up the database uh, just to keep your database light let's say uh, per day is thousand people coming in a month maybe it end up being at thirty thousand people right when you want to keep your data system faster you can actually wipe out maybe you don't need some uh, three months before information all you can select that particular date three months ago and then you uh, clean up the database all the record from this date before this date will be wiped out from the database so it makes your database light and easier to use if in case you need to hard reset the entire database you can use the reset database button and that's pretty much all we covered everything and remember your download link for the software is here and we activated a license key for this pc right you can see the license key is for two windows computer i ordered you start one so that means there will be another one for this particular number uh, this particular hardware id i can install the software to another computer and activate it in that computer also up to two computers for based on whatever publisher it's a two license key means it's up to two computers as simple as that thank you